Welcome, I'm Dr. Melina Roberts, and I'm going to talk about hormone disruptor chemicals. So these are also known as endocrine disruptor chemicals. And what these do is these are chemicals that are easily absorbed into our systems, and they can mimic hormones and cause hormone imbalances in our system. So they can do everything from blocking the hormone receptors to overstimulating these hormone receptors and overall just causing a hormone imbalance within our bodies. And so these are, I'm gonna go through five hormone disruptors that we really want to be trying to avoid because they can show up clinically in a number of ways. So clinically, we can see them as irregular periods. We can see them as heavy periods. Um, we can also see them as causing problems in terms of endometriosis and polycystic ovary syndrome, PCOS. We can also see it happen as fertility issues. So if you're having any sort of fertility issues, you wanna be avoiding these endocrine disruptor chemicals. And we can see them also in our young kids, um, young girls who are having early periods. And it's often because they're exposed to these hormone disruptor chemicals. So in our young girls, I'm gonna say young boys as well, if we can remove a number of these endocrine disruptor chemicals, then we can um, help to make it so that they have a normal hormone balance. And then we start to see it in our perimenopausal and our menopausal women with hot flashes and night sweats and any sort of insomnia, all these symptoms that are fairly typical in menopause, but if the hormones are in balance, then menopause can be a smooth transition where you don't have to experience the hot flashes, the night sweats, the insomnia. So these are really important chemicals that we want to try to keep out of our lives. And I'm going to go through the top five. There's lots of different ones that have been studied, but I would say that these are the ones, if you can avoid these ones in our life, this will make a significant difference. Now, number one is parabens. So parabens, what they are is they're a synthetic preservative and you'll often find it in personal care products and fragrances. And these parabens will often also show up. You'll be able to read it because it'll say it on the label. It'll say parabens or some variation of paraben in the um, actual label. But we want to be trying to avoid these parabens because these parabens have been shown to actually disrupt our hormone balance. So this is one major one that we want to stop um, start to avoid in our lives. So we don't want to be putting these personal care products with parabens onto our bodies or taking them in at all. So another one is phthalates. And phthalates is a synthetic preservative and you'll see it in personal care products, you'll see it in fragrances, um, you'll also see it in plasticizers because it in plastics it actually helps to make the plastics more flexible, more durable, it'll increase the transparency of those plastics and so we start to see that in a number of products from um, our plastic wraps, we'll see it um, in those plastic food containers. And another place that we see phthalates is we see it in our plastic shower curtains. And so these are different things that we definitely want to be avoiding or changing out so that we're not exposed to these phthalates. Because these phthalates, when we consume them or when we take them into our bodies, they can have a huge effect in terms of affecting our hormone balance and they can really disrupt our hormone balance. And so phthalates is one of the major hormone disruptor chemical that we wanna be avoiding in our lives. Another major one is bisphenol A. And it's got a lot of press because it was showing up in baby bottles. Um, we'll see it also in any type of uh, water bottle. We see it as a lining in a lot, the plastic lining in a lot of canned foods. 
So this is one that, again, when we take it in, it can really disrupt our hormone balance. So this is one that we want to be trying, a chemical that we want to be trying to avoid in our lives. So we're trying to get um, bottles that have the bisphenol A free, any sort of uh, canned goods that we're taking in, we want to make sure that it doesn't have that plastic lining with the bisphenol A in it. So this is one, one major one that we want to also be avoiding in our lives. So another hormone disruptor chemical is herbicides and pesticides that are sprayed onto our fruits and vegetables and grains. And when we take them in, a lot of them actually have estrogen properties within our body. So what they do is they actually make it seem to our body like we have an increased amount of estrogen in our body. And when we have that es increased estrogen, it really throws off our natural hormone balance. So this is a major one that we want to be trying to avoid as well because this can really disrupt our hormone balance and lead to a number of hormonal issues within the body. So um, trying to eat more organic foods will definitely try to reduce the amount of herbicides and pesticides that we're consuming that we're taking into our bodies because of these hormone disruptor chemicals that we're taking in. Another one is um, heavy metals. Now, heavy metals we can be taken in from a number of sources. Um, often we're taking them in through our food sources because as our soils become more depleted, we actually, our foods actually start to actually take in more heavy metals through our soils. Um, our environment is quite contaminated with heavy metals, so they do end up in our soils, which end up in our foods. Um, major ones that we're also taking in is through our dentistry in, in terms of those metal amalgams in the mouth. Um, we're taking it in through uh, cookware. We also have it in some of our personal care products. We'll have heavy metals in them. So these heavy metals actually have an affinity for the nervous system and they will affect the pituitary. And the pituitary is the major communication to all the different endocrine organs. And when you have disruption of the pituitary from these heavy metals, then you have disruption of proper communication between all of the different hormonal glands in the body. And so this can cause huge hormonal balances in the body. So staying away from those heavy metals because they are big hormone disruptor chemicals in the body as well. So we want to be trying to avoid all of these major hormone disruptor chemicals, make sure that we're not taking them in and we're avoiding them wherever possible. So thank you so much for listening. I hope you'll share this information with your friends and your family and that you'll press the like button, make a comment below, and until next time, continue to learn, grow, and build health.